Hello everyone, and welcome to my EastEnders Media News channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In the most recent episode of the BBC soap opera, Jade Masood left Walford permanently following a confrontation with her evil father, Dean Wicks. She said they were over after manipulating him into eventually admitting the truth about him tampering with her meds to prevent her from leaving. In violent moments, she spit on her father and begged him to burn in hell, declaring that she thought he had killed Keanu Taylor even though he had insisted he was innocent. Viewers are aware that the Six and Keanu's real killer, Linda Carter, set up rapist Dean for the crime, even though there was evidence to support Dean's guilt. Jade wondered what else Dean could do, knowing exactly what he had been up to over the past few months to prevent her from moving to Pakistan to be with her mother Shabna Masood. Before accusing Jean Slater of causing her illness and his eventual admission of guilt, Jade told her father how she truly felt about him. She then spent time in the Vic with Jean and other people, knowing that she would be leaving in a few hours to start a new life. She asked Linda if she believed her father was a murderer after thanking Jean. Linda was naturally uncomfortable about this, since she had deliberately set Dean up. Jade then said to Linda that she hoped to find closure for the 2014 rape of her by Dean, who escaped punishment. Jade then bid adieu to Walford and permanently departed. She said her goodbyes as Harvey drove her out of Walford, leaving Jean, Harvey Monroe, and others gathering outside the house. She had a brief encounter with Bernadette Taylor, Keanu's sister, who had returned for a few scenes just before she left. In order to inform mom Karen Taylor and her family of Keanu's passing, Bernie had departed for Spain. Bernie and Jade had a moment together when they got back, with Jade feeling bad about her father allegedly killing Bernie's brother. In the most recent episode of EastEnders, a character has left Walford, leaving one villain by themselves. Elizabeth Green's character Jade Masood was through a farewell party in the Vic as she got ready to head back to Pakistan. However, Jade convinced a reluctant Jean Slater, Jillian Wright, to go with her after getting a visitation request from her imprisoned father, Dean Wicks, Matt D'Angelo. The teenager confronted Dean, who was charged with the one crime he didn't commit, murdering Danny Walters' character Keanu Taylor, and demanded the truth. Dean was adamant about his innocence, while Jean cautioned Jade against believing her horrible father's falsehoods. Jade succeeded in getting Dean to admit to tampering with her medication just when it appeared that she might be taken in. Shaken and enraged, Jade spit out of the prison and commanded him to rot in hell. She was devastated because she had thought Jean was to blame for her treatment, but Jean argued that Jade could finally move on from Dean and join her cherished mother Shabna Masood, Rocky Thakrar, in Pakistan. Speaking with Linda Carter, Kelly Bright, again at the Vic, Jade expressed her hope of finding some closure for what the rapist Dean had done to her. Naturally, Linda is also the real murderer of Keanu. Along with a few of the local kids, Jean, Stacy Slater, Lacey Turner, Harvey Monroe, Ross Boatman, and Keanu's distraught sister Bernie Taylor, Claire Norris, convened to bid farewell to Jade. After a cordial conversation between Jade and Bernie, Jade was taken from the square while yelling a happy goodbye. Dean felt abandoned and alone in his cell, which is exactly what he deserved. What does this mean for Jade, though? Will we see her again, or is this it? Jade's relocation to Pakistan is official, according to Radiotimes.com, despite the BBC having not commented on whether the character will ever return to EastEnders. It's probably safe to assume that she won't be returning anytime soon. But since Dean is still a part of the show and pals like Avani Nandra Hart, Aaliyah James, have been close to her, it's possible that Jade could eventually find her way back to Walford. The Slaters will always be there to greet her when she comes to town. Jean has grown especially close to Jade during the absence of her best friend, the late Shirley Carter, Linda Henry, a character we hope to see return to the screen in the near future. And there was that tender moment with Linda, the kind that may strengthen the tie between an aunt and her niece. 
Or would Jade come back to discover that Linda is the real murderer and Dean isn't? Jade might surprise us all by returning with a relative, such as Grandfather Masood Ahmed, Nidin Ganatra, who was only one of the sadly deceased clan's members. But for now, it's goodbye to Jade. Star Green's stirring farewell performance makes us want to see her again in the future. In Tuesday's 7.30 p.m. episode of EastEnders, CRTV Guide for Complete Listings, Whitney Dean is left heartbroken when social services take Brittany Wainwright from her custody. Wit has been keeping a big secret from Brittany ever since they returned to the square. She bribed the teen's mother, Keely, to have her taken away. Furthermore, Whitney's deception about having fostered Brittany is about to bite her in the rear. When Whitney meets well with Brittany's teacher regarding her recent diagnosis of Usher syndrome, the day starts off well. Rice Caldwell, Sonia's boyfriend, then makes a mistake by unintentionally disclosing Whitney isn't Brittany's biological mother. The worried Walford High staff is compelled to take action due to duty. Later on, social services show up at Whitney's home and announce they are there to take Brittany away, which horrifies her. The team explains that they have received reports regarding Brittany's welfare and that they must take her out of the picture until they are able to verify Whitney's account of what happened with Keeley's. Will Brittany end up with Whitney permanently? The Mitchells and the Vic, meantime, are in shock over Billy's father Stevie's surprise visit. Phil says he's wasting his time in Walford, and Billy makes it clear he wants no contact with the father who abandoned him when he was a youngster. Stevie also fails to win Phil over with her charm offensive. Returning to number 18, Honey comforts a shaken Billy and persuades him to give Stevie's side of the story a chance. Later, Billy's father and son have an open discussion about Billy's difficult upbringing, but when Stevie brings up Billy's late nephew Jamie, the conversation takes a negative turn. Billy loses his cool and gives his father the finger, but Honey mediates the situation once more and tells Stevie to give it more if he wants to have a connection with his son. In another scene, Yolanda Truman seeks safety in the laundry room while fighting to hide the reality of her horrific attack. After Pastor Clayton sexually attacked her, Patrick's partner's world was completely turned upside down and she began to doubt God. Yolanda acknowledges her difficulties to Jean Slater during a tearful chat, but her friend offers her a solution. Later, Yolanda goes back to number 20 and says she wants to set up Jordan's baptism. But what will Chelsea Fox, his mother, think of it? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.